Should I still buy a home in 2022? This is the question I keep getting asked. And it really, the, the answer to the question is it really just depends. Should you buy a home in 2022? Yes, if you need a home to live in or you want to buy a rental property, you should buy a home. Should you buy a home in 2022? If you need to sell it in 2023? No, I don't think so. And I never think that's a good idea unless you're gonna do significant rehab to the home. So if you're gonna buy a home at a huge discount that you're gonna do a big rehab to that you need to sell in 2023, it might make sense. But if your only plan is you're gonna buy a home in 2022 and you're gonna sell it in 2023 and that's how you're gonna make money or that's the reason you're buying it, I don't recommend that you buy it. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know that it's gonna be worth more in a year. And again, that's always my advice. Do not buy a home where your only option is to sell in the near future. You have to pay a lot of fees to sell a home. It's in the six to 8% range paying realtors fees, paying closing costs, whatever fees you have to pay to fix up the home, make it marketable. Don't buy a home this year and need to sell it a year later. Doesn't matter what year that is. But back to the initial question, should you buy a home in 2022? Yes, absolutely. If you need to buy somewhere that you're gonna stay for a while, five to seven years, maybe 10 years, it's a great time to buy a home. And here's why. If you're gonna buy a home in 2022, you're not competing with near as many people. And if you need to buy a home to live in for a long period of time, that might mean you can get a great deal. And you might be saying, well, Jordan, my interest rate's gonna be so much higher. My mortgage payment's gonna be higher. There's so many ways around that, but we'll just go over a few here. You can buy it down and you can buy down that interest rate. An easy way to do that is a a temporary rate buy down. So you buy it down for a few years. Of course, you can buy it down permanently, but that's just a lot more expensive. So you can buy down your interest rate. You can get the seller to pay for that interest rate buy down. You can get the seller to pay for all these different things. The buyers are starting to gain more power. Get the seller to pay for so much of the this costs that you have associated with buying a home. Get the home you want at the price you want. Buy the home, date the rate, and buy the rate down as as cheap as you can right now again get the seller to pay for this if you can but you could pay for it too and that's another reason i think buying a home right now is because you can get the home you want in the area you want for the price you want and you can't fix location and you can't change the home yeah maybe in a year or two home prices are cheaper but maybe rates have also gone up so your payment's more expensive and maybe you have to be further out because people have driven the prices homes up in the areas that you want to be in. So do you want to buy this year and you need to buy a home this year? It's still a great time to buy a home. You've got a lot more leeway to buy a home now. Now, that being said, if you're going to buy a home this year, be a little pickier. I'm highly encouraging buyers to be pickier. Find that perfect home for you with the perfect lot that you want, the perfect area you want. Get that deal you want. Obviously, you still need to be realistic, but be picky. In the last year or two, you couldn't be picky at all. Now is the time to get picky and really get what you want. Because, you know, like I said, you might have to wait a few years to, for mortgage interest rates to drop again where you can refinance and make a lot of sense out of it. So you have to get that great deal. So if you still want a home, it's going to be more work in a different way. Over the last couple of years, it was extremely hard to find a house. It's still gonna be hard to find a house, but not for the same reasons. The reasons that are hard now are that sellers are just not willing to take a lower price. You're gonna to have to look around and look around and look around, make lots of offers. Again, same as you were a year ago, but for different reasons. Where you're saving grace is, if you're looking to buy a home in 2022, this is absolutely new build communities. I've not typically been a fan of new build communities. They don't want to work with investors. They're great if you're a home buyer and you want to be in their area. But in the last year or two, they were saying, hey, get on this big list. When your name comes up, then you can bid on this home. You still have to pay way more than we're listing at, but then you can bid. New build have way more inventory than the resale market does. New build communities last I heard something like 13 months of inventory, a tremendous amount of inventory. 
where in the resale community or just the overall market, we're around three months of inventory. So it's still a seller's market in the resale market or the general overall broader market. But in the new build market, it's absolutely a buyer's market. That's where you want to be. You want to be where you have the advantage. And if you're willing and you want to buy a new build home, now is the time to do it. New builds are freaking out. They have excess inventory because they've been building for a hotter market and they're willing to make a deal. They're willing to give you extra credits. They're willing to come down on the price. They're willing to allow you to ask for things to do into the home. Maybe they upgrade here, upgrade there. Maybe they give you the appliances that give you a washer and dryer, all sorts of stuff. So they're going to do what they need to do to make your payment affordable. They're going to do what they need to do to make you buy the home. So again, they're paying closing costs. They're getting the price down and they're buying your interest rate down. You don't even have to ask for this stuff right off the bat. They're offering it. And then you can ask for more because they need to get these homes sold. So is 2022 a good time to buy a home? Absolutely. You just have to be creative and you have to be a little pickier because you can be. You need to get the best deal for you. If you're going to buy a home at a higher interest rate, where the payment is more expensive, then you might have to wait for a few years for interest rates to come down where you can refinance, or you're gonna to have to go to the new build community and get them to buy down your rate, which is really expensive to buy it down permanently, but they're willing to do it right now, and you have all the power when you're buying a new build.